start off in Class 4A Region 6 as we have down the stretch. Everyone and their brother's nephew's cousin's dog was talking about West and South this week, and rightfully so. The biggest game in Florence County ever. I don't think they've ever had this was sold out. Oh, I yeah, it's yeah. sold out on Sunday. It's sold out. I don't think they've ever had a sold out game. Uh, if they have, it's been quite a long time. And it's rightfully so that this game was advertised as it should be, given where both of these teams were undefeated, playing for a region championship. South Florence, number one in the state. West Florence, third in the state. And the collision course has been online for quite a while tonight. Week two, week three. Oh, yeah. I mean, what Deuce was doing and their setup with their offensive attack. Norris, already his pedigree is just massive. Two, just, I mean, everybody was so jazzed up for this leading up to it. I mean, you could feel it even all the way here in Horry County. Oh, I think the whole state was talking about it. I, I had people in the whole state that were glued in on this game. And with that, Without further delay, let's go to South Florence High School and pick up the action. Here come the number one team in the states. South Florence ready to rock and roll. But it was West who would strike first. Deuce Hudson airing it out on third long. Bryson Graves, how you doing, my man? Wide open for the score just like that. Knights take an early 7-0 lead. Drew Marlowe, none too pleased as he will rally the troops. South coming back. Lenoris, direct snap, plows in for the score. And the packed stadium was roaring because we had a ball game. South again, moving. Sellers looking for more. And boy, would he have yet another huge game. Pushes himself again into the end zone. Reaches over the line to get yet another score. The Syracuse commit fired up the Bruin Nation as well. They were starting to pull away in this one, but the South Florence offense not done. Sellers again launches it, and Jabre Johnson pulls down the touchdown. Man, South making it look easy after trailing early on. The fans going bananas. A sold out crowd, standing room only. Shaquem Shiloh, hey, get in the mix, my friend. Adds another one to the scoreboard. And this one would be all South Florence. The Bruins with a statement. They win it tonight, 45 to 14. Huge win for the Bruins as they are your 2022 Region champs finishing the regular season a perfect 10 and 0. Up next, the number one seed and the postseason. They will find out who they play this weekend. It'll be an at large team when the brackets come out. As for West Florence, they will be at home as well. Just their first loss of the season. They will welcome Lugoff Elgin to Florence next week if the playoff situation stays as it is with Ridgeview most likely not being in the postseason. They were until today, but they had to forfeit nine games, which knocked them out of the conversation. But they did appeal. That appeal is on Monday at 10 a.m., but it's highly unlikely that they will win that. So Lugov Elgin will be at West Florence. More on this game now as the head coach of the winning Bruins joins us live for the second time this season, Drew Marlowe, a happy Drew Marlowe, more so one that is now can breathe. Drew, what a fantastic game. Have you ever been in a situation like this with the crowd and just the hype and what it was like to play or I should say coach in this game? I can hear other people. I can't hear you, Brandon. Are you there? All right, so Drew, if you can hear me, how was it to coach in a game like this? Oh, it was tremendous. It was uh, <clears throat> it was a great night tonight. We had an unbelievable atmosphere. Uh, had people lining up at the gates at five o'clock. Um, we walked in and it was just an unbelievable atmosphere to play in, really special for our kids. Tell me a little bit about what your message was when you fell behind 7-3, it seemed like you kind of got this team fired up. Did you really have to say anything 
or were the players taking it upon themselves to kind of get themselves going? No, I didn't say a word. You know, I just told our coaches to get them back, refocused. It's a long game. Uh, really, all we had to do was just keep running right there, not try to jump for the ball. But um, no, our, our, our kids have been extremely focused all week long and certainly not how we wanted to start the game. But, um, you know, uh, I knew we were going to be all right. What does a win like this do for your program going in to the playoffs? Because obviously you have achieved the goal of winning a region championship, but the ultimate goal is to win a state title. How do you feel going into the postseason about that possibility? You know, who knows? You know, I told my team after the game, you know, we, we've really been talking about this since January. Um, we were going to play three seasons, a non-region, a region, and then a playoff schedule. Um, you know, so the most important thing tonight is, is that we secured a number one seed, which guarantees us three rounds at home. Um, moving forward, we've just got to continue to be focused on, on ourselves and not our opponent. And, um, you know, just keep, keep, keep going. We're fighting for our lives from here on out, though. So everything that we've achieved to this point really doesn't matter. Um, it's all about what's ahead. Drew, I've talked to quite a few people over the last several weeks, and every time I talk to somebody, they bring up Lenora Sellers and what a tremendous athlete he is. Another big game for the Syracuse guy tonight. I mean, you've said so much about him, but when you have others that are talking about his capability on the field and just his mannerisms off, uh, what does that say about what he means to your program? He means the world to this program, and he, he really has for four years. Um, he's the best football player in the state. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt about it. He can get it done however we need to get it done. Tonight, uh, the wind and kind of rain came out of nowhere, um, so we, uh, we committed to running the football. He didn't throw it a whole lot tonight, but Lenore's is a kid who wants to win, and he doesn't care what it takes to win, and um, that's why he means so much to our program. He's, he's unselfish, and um, you know most quarterbacks want to throw it, uh, but he was good with running it. He was good with doing whatever it took to win tonight. Drew, I appreciate it, my man. Enjoy this win. I know that you'll probably put it in the rearview mirror tomorrow as you start preparing for the postseason. But enjoy it tonight. Thank you for joining us and staying up late with us. And, uh, of course, we'll see you guys next week. And we'll see how the playoffs work out for you, my friend. Hopefully we'll see you in Columbia here when it's all said and done. We hope so. Thanks for all you guys do for high school football. All right, my friend. We'll see you, buddy. All right, let's bring Andrew James back in and let's continue.